Oof, this video has turned into something entirely different, ladies and gentlemen. I only wanted to figure out with you guys how expensive is it going to be, and we are going to figure this out in this video, uh, to get one of those mild damage absorber chips, the only chip everybody wants. Because you can uh, somehow not buy the purple ones directly, you have to buy the blue ones. Yes, and then 50 of those so that you can combine them into purple ones and then into golden. But the video turned into something entirely different, something fundamental for Pixonic to hear the feedback, for us to players to maybe voice our opinion, and I think it's a really important video, but at the same time I also want to say, you don't have to watch it. It may just be enough for you guys to listen to it. Uh, you, you can put the phone down and just listen to, to the things I may have to say. Um, and also important for me at the end, give me your opinion on the comments, please too. Okay, I really need them on this one. Uh, it's, um, it's a very impo important topic, but it does not need to be watched. It may be just enough to listen to it. What's up friends of the good mood? This is Manny and welcome to a special video right here. One that I just ra happened to decide to make uh, a few seconds ago basically. Uh, it is Tuesday, live stream day for me right now. And I wanted to come up with an idea and a setup for, for our live stream, right? So I decided to go with a bulwark and make it a tank. Now, in order to make it a tank we have to have a few things. For example, should probably go with repair and have the drone resistance um, microchips and so on, right? Maybe a heal back drone, in which in right now is the nebula drone would be the best one, right? So that's what I was going to do, and then I figured out that. Of course, in order for this to be a tank, we need the best and the only one uh, microchip everybody wants and the F-slot. That would be the unmild damage absorber. Alright, so, so far so good. And then I, I, I found out that I have to spend a whole lot of gold just to get one of them. We're on the battle rack account, the gold doesn't really matter. But what matters to me is to find out how, how expensive is one of those basically alternative less there is no alternative to them because let's take take a look what we have here on on this drone okay on this drone we have the f slot oh look on mild damage absorber okay what do we have on this one um oh it's the on mild damage absorber hmm interesting there's quite a lot of variety here let's take a look at this one oh damn on mild damage absorber and uh this one whoa Okay, this one doesn't even have a chip. Oh, that's okay. It's because one of those I, I don't really use. Now, you need, need those. Oh, and I made a mistake right here because this one should have... Yeah, that's right. On mild damage absorber. Now, in case you're wondering... Oops, mis misclicked. In case you're wondering, um, this is... Th th all the other things here, right, that you can get here are basically trash. Because you don't want any of those other things. The only thing everyone wants, the only thing that's really the best, is the on mild damage absorber. And then I came to realize that um, if you want to get that one thing everybody wants, you have to get... Wait a minute, you can't get the purple ones, can you? If I go to the seed slot and I want, for example, an on repair defense in golden, then all I do, I buy five times the unrepair defense in purple, right? Bam, sec. I've got to refresh. Okay, I press once, 200 gold. All right, it's not there. 200 gold. All right, I'm being unlucky. It's not there. It's not there. We're pressing quite a few times on the button here. And okay, now, th this is bad now. That's not what I wanted to show you. I wanted to, here, there it is. Boom. I pressed a couple of times and I get another purple one. Boom. After five purple ones, I can combine them into a golden one, right? Boom. And then I have the best and only one item I want in that slot. Now that doesn't work, however, with the F slot. It, you can at least go with the purple ones directly. On the F slot, you can't do that. There is only gray and blue items in this. Look at this. So in order for you to create one of those golden on mild damage absorber, the names, right? Um, you have to actually get 50 of the blue ones. 50! And you can't just go and say, okay, I want to buy this quantity, uh, 50 by boom. You can't do that. No, you have to get every single one of them individually. Press refresh. Oh, look, there is one. Bam. Got it. Nice. Okay. So now I want another one. I click refresh. 
Okay, it's not in here. That was 200 gold. Quick refresh. It's not in here. Refresh. It's not in here. 400. 600. 800 gold now. 1,000 gold spent. It's not here. 1,200. It's not here. 1,400 gold. It's not here. 1,600. It's not here. 1,800. And there it is. All right. Just to be able to spend the 110 gold to get one of those 50 blue on mild damage absorber things, I had to spend 1,800 gold to even get the chance to buy it for for a hundred and that made an I that gave me an idea how about we calculate how much these things cost right uh, so far I have gotten yes I was already quite busy I've gotten 40 40 of those items but that is not enough that is only that only represents as you can see here bup, 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 bup. And then, oh yeah, we have to spend 200 gold to sacrifice 10 of those to make it into one. All right, but that's not a that's not a big problem, you know. That I would gladly pay those 200 gold, and then we get um, one of those purple ones. And uh, we are doing this now, and now we're getting four purple ones. But the thing is, in order to make a golden one, you need five purple ones, and uh, that means instead of 40 blue, we need 50 blue. Because, see, we only have, right now, on Mild Damage Absorber, we only have four. We need five. Hmm. All right, so we have to get ten more. How about we open the calculator and uh, and basically count how many times I have to press uh, on Refresh and how much gold I have to spend just to get those ten Mild Damage Absorber thingies. And then we're going to add this up for a four, like, multiply it by 50 to find out how much we probably somewhere around have to spend in order to get one of those um, those purple, sh uh, purple slots. Because again, remember, any other slot, you can just go directly and buy the suppressor, the lockdowner, and whatever you might want. You can go directly and buy the purple one and then combine five purple ones to a golden and finish, okay? Yeah, the purple ones are a bit more expensive, but you're saving all that refresh, refresh, refresh. And on that particular slot right here, you can't do that. You have to go with the blue ones all the time. So, let's go, okay? Are you ready? We want to get 10 of those. So, boom. Once, twice. All right, here we go. And then click. Okay, so. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, there is the second one. Okay, you're seeing where this is going, right? 11, 12, 13, there we go, absorber. That was the third one. 14, 15, 16, there is the fourth one. Oh God, I have to keep all those numbers in my head. Uh, 14 was that, right? 15. 16. No, wait a minute. We were already at 16, weren't we? Oh, God. Ugh. That was the fourth one. It was 16. Now we're, I think we're at 18, and that was the fourth one. 18. Oh, God. Okay, this is not easy. Uh, 19. 20. 21. 22. 23. All right. That's the fifth one. 23. 24. 25, 26, sixth one, 27, 28, 29, seventh one, 30, 31, eighth one, 32, 33, 34, ninth, and 35, Okay, that was lucky. 35 times 200 gold, plus the 10 times 110 gold. Uh, 30, 35 times, um, oh, dang it, just realized that, okay. Uh, 200 gold is 7,000 gold, plus the 1,100 gold we had to spend um, to buy the actual chips themselves. Right, that equals a 8,100 gold, and that was just 10. We needed 15. 8,100. 
um, times five is 40,500 gold uh, for 50 of those microchips. Then we have to combine them, which cost five times 200, so that is 41,500. Okay, go for it here. That's the combine I mean. 41,500, because we have to do this five times, and then we have to combine them all one last time for 500. So that is 42,000 gold. It, uh, it cost 42,000 gold and probably half an hour of my time to get this one item that you see on screen. 42,000 gold. And, and, and the time the time it took is also significant because sim because sim since there is no shortcut to getting to these things there's no way to just you know say uh, pre I, I, I please want to get 50 of those by finish you have to really go through the process of getting them all single sim um, simultaneously no 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 uh, one after another that's the word I was looking for it's the exact opposite of simultaneously um, so boom now we have our item in here finally so the drone is equipped. The live stream today can happen. Now, um, 42,000 gold. Remember, this is the only item everybody wants in that slot. Th 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 nobody wants anything else in this slot because nothing else is even remotely as as useful. And this is this happens to be the item that I hate the most about War Robots within the last year. The only item you cannot shortcut to get easier and faster. And that's the one item that uh, that breaks the game more than anything else in the game, in my opinion. And here comes another fact. It's not getting addressed. Um, it, 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 the, 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 so there is a solution to the problem, right? The solution would be to fix the actual chip and say, no, this thing cannot come up every five seconds and last three seconds, so that you only have, what, three seconds to deal damage to the dude before it comes back up. Now, the fix would be to say, all right, this thing, and I've sent this into Pixonic probably a hundred times over the last year, because this is the one single most important thing that ruins the game for me. Um, I'm not sure about you guys, but this really ruins it for me. I, I just can't fight and play and have fun shooting enemies anymore because that stupid shield pops up every free. Have you tried using Orkans or, or Vortex, a Thermite, with those shields popping up? Uh, have fun with that, man. Um, and the solution would be so easy to say the cooldown of this is 15 seconds. The shield comes up, lasts 4 or 5 seconds, and then for the next 10 seconds, it cannot trigger again. Problem solved. And we're all happy and fun, right? But that's not what happens. What happens is we are we have this situation for such a long time to deal with, to just bear with it somehow, even though it's unbearable. And the solution now comes in not in form of an actual fix to address the problem, fix the problem, problem solved. No, the drop the problem comes in, and that the solution comes in in form of legendary pilots. Like for example, Yan Li. He's able to bypass those shields for a certain time. Or on the meta bot Fafnir, the Sviatogor Belov pilot, that can do the same thing for the entire flight duration. So you're not getting a fix for the problem, you're getting the solution sold as a different item in the game. And that is quite smart, Pixonic. Um, however, we're not stupid, and you know we also noticed that. And when you then take a look at this, uh, that A, it's not getting fixed for so long. B, this, the fix is finally coming in, but not as an actual fix, but as a sold extra content. And then you take a look at the fact that the the only slot that where you you, you can't buy the direct purple items for, and you have to spend forty two thousand dollars. Uh, this is my other PC here, where I have the calculator. That's why I'm looking that way. Where you have to spend 42,000 gold just to get that one item. That one item that has no alternative because it's the only item you want. Then you already, like, you put one, one, and one together and you know why we still have this problem. And, um, I, uh, while I was preparing for the live stream, I, uh, I just needed to know how much gold does that thing cost. And I guess now I know why the problem still exists and, uh, why it is net has not been fixed in such a long time. Because it's your game, you could make it fun, you could make it good. 
And you do, you do, don't get me wrong. There's so many things about this game that are make it awesome and great, right? But then there's these things that just keep it in check somehow that could be so much better if you just would give up on that one thing. Just give up on this stupid absorber shield, let us have fun and fight our robots and have carnage and clash on the battlefield and do what this game's very idea is, which is just fighting and destroying other robots and not have to worry about those Stupid shields popping up every three or four seconds, lasting almost the same time, uh, and uh, basically just uh, uh, disrupting gameplay. After a very long time, I gotta give you this, Pixonic, after a very long time, you've actually gone ahead and you fixed the uh, negative effect thing. I've, you know as much as I do how long I was laying in your ear, Pixonic, please, come on, the negative effect duration, Im the negative effect immunity has to be longer. It can't be that you can be suppressed for five seconds, can't deal damage, then you can deal damage for five seconds. Oh, and now you're suppressed for five seconds. So half the playtime, you're locked, suppressed, and so on, right? It was just uh, too disruptive to the game, to the flow of gameplay. <laughs> and finally, they listened. Finally, after I think two years of me laying in their ears saying, come off of it, guys, do it. And uh, now they've finally done it. And I'm so happy they did, because now the, ref the the immunity against the negative effects is twice as long as the actual negative effect duration. So you have more time to enjoy your robot and walk around freely and not be locked, to shoot enemies freely and not be suppressed, you know? But the same thing we still have with those absorber shields. And I hope you understand this is a constructive criticism video. I'm not trying to put anybody against the wall. I'm trying to help this game. And um, I'm trying to bring more fun into it, okay? Uh, I think you guys have sold a insane amount of those F-slot type microchips. And I'm pretty sure right now, just as, as a perspective from a player, I don't think any... Okay, I can't say anybody, but I, I, I personally, even if I, on my own account, I have five of those slush microchips. Of course I do, right? Who doesn't have them? Uh, or do, who doesn't want to have them? Um, but even though I have five of those, I would not be upset with you, Pixonic, if you raised the effect, uh, the, the cooldown, the, the cooldown of this chip from five, of course, nobody or somebody writes me, from five to 15 seconds. At least make it 10. Uh, okay, my, uh, my microchip may not be as f the same useful uh, usefulness as it was before, but the flow of combat, the fun, it's, it comes back. And I would like that. I would really like that. And I would like that for such a long time now. And I know that the other players are too. Even though they may have also gotten themselves the drone chip. Because it is the one thing that everybody needed and wanted. And it will be still the only one thing everybody wants and needs. Because it is still the best chip. Because why? It absorbs unlimited amounts of damage. Which... On a side note, I always said it was a bad idea, Pixonic. I always said this chip should not be unlimited durability. What it should be, this shouldn't even exist, and instead, it should be this one. This was the perfect chip for the game. It comes up every five or whatever seconds, right? And it blocks 40,000 damage. But you know what? It blocks a limited amount of damage. It doesn't dishearten you or demotivate you to even fire. You can still fire and it makes sense to still fire because you have to get that shield down anyways, you know? So it makes sense to... It, you are encouraged to still keep fighting, uh, which uh, the absorber shield is the exact opposite. It comes up and... It, you just have to wait it out because there's no point in fighting it. And, uh, and this is why that chip here would have been the right chip all along and the only chip we would have needed. We didn't need the absorber chip. The absorber was a mistake. And I'm pretty sure you guys know this just as much as I do, that the absorber shield popping up this often and blocking unlimited amount of firepower, that was not a good idea. It is a good idea on the Hades, on the Ares, on the uh, Nemesis, on the Demeter. It's a good idea on those because this is what their robot's ability is. That's what makes them special. And that's their exist reason to exist in the game. So I wouldn't complain about them having that type of shield. It's correct on those. And it even serves the added purpose of reinforcing their build-in firepower when they block damage upon, you know, using that shield. But that, that feature doesn't even exist on the Absorber. It's called Absorber Shield, but it doesn't reinforce you anything for you when it pops up on drones. That alone makes no sense. But 
it also makes no sense from the gameplay perspective and a balancing perspective saying that you can now block unlimited firepower all the time in between tanks are getting impossible to kill with with the swatch swipping swatch a uh, swat swapping effect of instant heal back and in between of that having uh, the drone ship you need to deal massive damage very quickly so that you can kill him before he gets the health back but if you try to do that boom the absorber shield pops up stalls time for the next use usability or use of the heal back to come in you know it, it, it just stacks up to an unlimited spiral of a never-ending uh, uh, you know robots um, and um, Maybe you had this in mind, maybe you wanted, and oh god, is this a long video, maybe you wanted Pixonic 2 robots and combats to last longer. Uh, but even then, this chip, the mild uh, Aegis chip, would have been the right one, and the fact that you bring in a shield that dis discourages you, you from even fighting is not a good idea. And if you've ever played Pixonic, if you ever sit down playing Thermite, Vortex, Aphid, Orcans or phrasing rockets in the current meta and uh, you'll encounter these shields You will encounter these shields and you will know immediately what I'm talking about Have fun sending half that entire clip you have or that entire clip with vortex aphid into a shield that that you can't even Destroy and then deal damage a shield that everything you now send is gone and worthless That was a bad idea it really was, and I'm again, this is trying to be a constructive criticism video. Um, I'm not trying to put anybody against the wall, but this was a really bad idea in my opinion. And um, it's quite sad that it's still there. Um, yeah, but I, I, this was only a video for me to find out <laughs> how much, ex how expensive would be uh, one of those chips. But it turned into a, um, into a much longer video uh, with a, a more of a fundamental um, balancing perspective on my side, right? Keep that in mind. I'm just one guy. I'm not like a, I'm not a big company here, and I'm not speaking for all the players out there. Um, I do know that I do know the opinion of many players out there because I see their comments every day. But I am I'm still at the end of the day just one person, and I'm one player that enjoys your game Pixonic, but just as much as all the other players are. And um, let me just say at the end right here. I wouldn't be mad if you went set up that that effect uh, of the absorber shield to 15 seconds or let's say 12 seconds maybe to make a compromise between 10 and 15. Um, it would help the game tremendously and it would bring fun back into it and your legendary pilots would still be just as useful because you would still need to bypass that shield when it comes up and uh, you people would still go for the golden version of that particular shield because it's still the best one if you ask me the best one the best idea would have been to only go with the Aegis as I've said but you've went a different sh route and it's your game you can do that of course but maybe you want to consider my words <laughs> That's what I want to say, okay? And I think I'm editing the video to put in somewhere in the beginning that you do not have to watch this video. It is enough to just listen to it. I'm going to make that happen that in the beginning of the video, this, this line comes somewhere so that you do not spend your time watching something that does not need to be watched. It's enough if you just listen to it and um, make your thoughts about it. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good... Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> have a good one. And see you in the next one. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.